everybody. Welcome back to Everyday Whiskey. I'm Mike. I'm Dan. And this week we are doing a whole smorgasbord of <laughs> bourbons. Um, how this started, Dan texted me. He's like, yo, I got two bottles to this try. Started, yeah, this started with two random bottles. Yeah. Then it became three. Then I pulled one out and then I found one today in my travels yeah. and it just blew up. So these, to be honest, have nothing to do with each other. Nope. Nothing to do at all. We're just going to rate five random bourbons that we have not had yet. Nope. Okay. You're kind of lying. I've had this one. I haven't. I've okay. had this one. <laughs> but none of these have been rated on our TikTok or Instagram. No. Nothing. So this is going to be like pay dirt. Yep. Like virgin pay dirt. I think that's what it's saying. But either way. So let's get right into it. All right. So I'll kick us off. Um, so this one, first one up, we have the Cumberland Falls. Now, I don't know how new to the world this is, but as new far as my world goes, it's new to us. Uh, my company actually, I think, just picked it up for distribution. One of my managers tossed me the bottle. He's like, yo, tell me what you think about this. I need the bottle back. So I was like, all right, cool. We'll taste it and we'll see what we think. So sorry if it sucks. <laughs> I, I'm not going to say anything. Um, <laughs> so a few little, a, a couple of notes on it. I did jot down. I had to go on their website. So it is distilled at a 115-year-old distillery in Owensboro, Owensboro, Kentucky. Oh, that's where Wheel Horse is made, yeah. dude. Yeah, they make uh, Owensboro. There's, um, there's a big lineage with the name of where this is distilled that's on the website. So if you guys want, go yeah. there and check it out. I didn't feel like there's a lot it of yeah, there's a lot of history that goes along with it. Let's yeah. just go with it. It's one this of those cool. defunct brands that oh. or distillers that shut down and it got brought back and now they make a bunch of brands out of it. Yep. Okay. Um, obviously, Cumberland Falls, it's named after a scenic landmark out in Kentucky, which are the Cumberland Falls. I had no idea that was um, Me neither. As is all Kentucky whiskeys, it is made with what kind of water, Dan? Limestone water. Limestone water. Uh, it's aged four years in charred new American oak. It's got a high rye mash bill, which is 78% corn, 13% rye, and 9% barley, malted barley, and it's, and 86, it's 86 proof. proof. Um, so let's jump right into it. I right. did sample this over the weekend, right, so, but I'm not going to tell you what I think yet. He's underneath Mike. He's fine. There's that. Yeah, whiskey cat's making, whiskey cat's making moves. we got to be right. careful. All right, so... Let's, uh, so before I read you the nose, okay, let's so do it ourselves. If anybody sees me doing this, I've just spent a week in Napa with my company drinking wine, and this has become a knee-jerk reaction. Dude, I do it glass. subconsciously. Yeah. I work in the wine industry. Let's get it. Nose is nice. It's simple, though. It, it's, it's a very simple nose. It's, it's just very, it's like light wood. Yep. Little maybe, char. A little char, maybe a slight tinge of caramel. So... What does it say on the thing? I'm going to read. It says you should get lemon, pine, allspice, char, banana, which I actually get what the, the banana. I get yeah, the banana. Yeah, a little bit. What the fuck is summer fruit? I don't know. Whatever summer What is summer fruit? Is that like strawberries, blueberries, raspberries? Because I don't get that at all. But the note okay. is pretty small. No, I get char, banana, and I get a nice little oak tone. The banana and oak are strong. Yeah. Okay. So right, let's, let's, let's go, go with that. Taste. Let's go with that. Ah, that's actually really pleasant, like man. Dude, it's really good. That's actually really pleasant. It's four years old, too, which this is a pretty young bourbon. Yeah. Um, we try that again. I, I'm actually, like, I really surprised. like it, dude. I was quite I really, surprised not myself. I, not that I didn't want to like this, but it's random. and I it's, really... Yeah, again, it's like a random bottle. Never heard much about it. Kind of new to the scene, at least in our area. So, what am I getting? It's, like, vegetative. So they claim vanilla, rye spice, and charred oak. All right, the rye spice is a vegetation I'm getting. I yep. definitely get the same char I got on the nose. And the vanilla. The vanilla kind of. It's light, it's but it's sweet. Thick. I think the vanilla, to me, like, all right. I think it's more a, gener a general a generic sweetness than yeah, exactly. the vanilla. It's That's... just generally sweet. So I have problems with my palate. I have problems picking up vanilla notes because I just interpret that as like, a, like, as, as, like as Mike said. I'm getting a dump glass. Oh, just... I, I, I interpret that as a general sweetness. Yeah. Um, so that makes sense. So th that's all on par. Uh, you drank it. You brought it. You want me to rate first? You rate first. And you see my phone out. I'm actually putting the ratings into our whiskey <laughs> scoring board. As we said, at the end of the year, we're it's going to be really hard to do. We're going to tally mm -hmm. up the top ranking bourbons slash whiskey slash everything that we've had. Yep. And we're doing a March Madness bracket challenge over the course of a month. Pretty much. Of all of these whiskeys. So that's why I'm tr we're trying to be organized. Um, all, right, all right, so my rating might surprise you. I'm going 8-3 on this. Uh, let me drink one more time. 
I act, I really, really, and I'm not saying that just because we're going to sell it. Like, I really enjoy this. It's a simple bourbon. See, that's what I kind of like about it, too. I like, the, I, I like the simplicity of it. I just don't know if I can go eight. So you go eight, three. Mm -hmm. I, I, the, my score is a seven, nine. So you want to go at an 8.1. Yeah, let's call it an right. eight one. So I think that's more than fair. So eight point one out of ten on the Cumberland Farms. Pleasantly surprised. I, I really, surprised. I really enjoyed that bottle. Nice pickup. I didn't. Even, yeah, it's a, it's a rental. <laughs> See, I don't know if you can zoom in on this. And I, so here, this is literally every whiskey Mike and I have yeah, had. Hold it forward more. And then here, I can let's see what I can like here. We'll do it right, right here. Yeah, I can zoom in on that. So this is every whiskey Mike and I have had so far on camera this year. Yes, on camera. So. By the end of the year, we're probably going to have two or three hundred of these bottles oh, listed yeah. on here. All right, let's get into the next one. So this one, oh, I... Hold on. No. One more point. I do want to mention price point on this. Oh, yeah, You'll yeah. probably see it on shelves between $35 to $40. That's a good deal. Yeah. That's a good so deal. that's a really good deal. <laughs> next one I brought to the table, yep. quite literally. I wrote down you. So this is Eric Legrand's bourbon, Kentucky Straight Bourbon. So that name sounds familiar to you guys. So I think it was like 13 years ago, uh, Eric Legrand was a Rutgers football player and he had a severe spinal injury mm -hmm. during a game. 2010. In 2010. And he was originally diagnosed. They thought he was going to be a paraplegic for his whole life. And he has steadily been gaining back his mobility yeah, essentially over the years. He still suffers from, from paralysis. paralysis. Today, but, Junior. Yeah. <laughs> He's working towards... Yeah. But he's, it. he established, like, a pretty well, uh, you know, he, he, what is the word I'm looking for? He established, like, a very successful coffee mm -hmm. uh, shop or a coffee brand or something like that. And then he's now jumping into the whiskey yes. side of things. So, essentially, this is a Kentucky Straight Bourbon, I think. Let me see. Like there, okay, so yeah. not to knock the poor guy, he's been through a lot, yeah. but the website needs some work. Because yeah, Mike and I were struggling, that's why I'm looking at this paper like dumbfounded. The website goes <laughs> on and on about him and what he has accomplished, which is Which is, is great, amazing. But, but there's not much about the bourbon itself. Yeah, so we don't know like <laughs> if it was sourced or, you know, if it was sourced, who it was sourced from. If it's Because it, it just says Eric Legrand Whiskey Yeah, and it does company. say produced by the, Legrand, uh, Legrand, Legrand Spirits. Legrand so we're Spirits. assuming this is made... In house, yeah. So it's not MGP. This goes for uh, between forty and forty five dollars on your shelf, depending on where you're at. And the best part about this bottle, like even if, and I'm just saying this as a disclaimer, even if this sucks horribly, mm -hmm. all of the proceeds, most of the proceeds, it's uh, five dollars and twenty cents from every okay. case sold. So even if this is kind of a bad bourbon, which I don't think it's gonna be. No. Uh, yeah, five dollars and twenty cents from each purchase goes to the Christopher Reeves Foundation. Yep. Uh, which is amazing. So. I we I Mike and I both commend Eric for doing that. That's an incredible gesture and wholeheartedly. Yeah, no, it's it's got a good cause behind yeah. it, so I could always support that. I don't know where I was going with that last sentence, but yeah, <laughs> you know, let's get into this. Now we're just talking whiskey. Yeah, so, I'm interested because like I said that there's no tasting notes, there's no palate, there's no nose, there's nothing on online. So I'm interested to see. So let's see if the juice holds up. I really, oh. really, really want this to be good. This bottle was donated to the channel, so it's got a heavy, thank you to anonymous donor. A heavy oak nose. I actually like no, dude. It's like brown sugar, man. Yeah, that's I actually, like the that's nose. actually a nice nose. It's brown the sugar, really a little pleasant. little tinge of oak and maple. Mm. Mm. It's very sweet. It reminds me a little bit of road stocky. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Okay. It's a little hot. It's definitely young. This has got to be two years old. It's young. Two to four it's years hot. old. This is four years old, but it was a little more developed. And there's only one proof difference between the two of these. This is 40, 86. This is, all right, 88. So two proof difference. Um, this drinks a hell of a lot hotter, though, than having a it's two It's not crazy proof hot, difference. though. It's it's very spicy. Yeah, it's very very That's spicy. That's what leads me to believe it. It's definitely a a young. Do you get butterscotch fish? too? It's a rye and barley mash. Bill. Do you get butterscotch? A little bit. I get vanilla or general sweetness. Yeah. Butterscotch, and I get uh, overall kind of spice. There's definitely a, a peppery note on there. I it's not don't. Bad, no, no, no. Not even ba not no. bad at all. Um, it's hmm. young. The best young. way to describe it is if you're familiar with young bourbons, it's young. Yeah. That's for sure. Yeah, yeah, but not a bad product at all. No. Pleasantly surprised. So Eric Legrand and Legrand Spirits, Keep nice it up. job. Keep it up. Uh, I'm going to go with a 7.2. 
I'll meet you there. 7-2. Seven, 7-2 two. Seven, two for LeGrand. Easy. For uh, LeGrand, or Eric LeGrand, Kentucky Straight Bourbon. Yep. Keep it easy. I was I, I was thinking right around that range. Yeah, I, I, it's not the best thing ever. It's not the best whiskey you've ever had. It's not the worst. No, like, but you could kinda... say, I mean, you and I are nobodies, but if we yeah. rated a 7 or higher, it's it that's worth buying. Yeah, yeah. 7, seven and up is worth it. I think we established that. Like, yeah, if you and me say, like, 7 or higher, solid. Yeah. You know, or, you know, seven to eight, solid, eight to nine, very good, and nine to ten, outstanding, like yeah. one of a kind unicorn bottles. Uh, and then I would say six to seven would be like, meh. Yeah. And then anything below a six is like, ah, you are probably go without buying it. Yeah. So, Mike, this was a surprise. Next. I was very happy you brought this. Yeah. I had no intentions of buying don't this, need this anymore, right? until, no, until I saw the price that I've been able to get it at. Um, but most of you are probably familiar with Elijah Craig, and I'm sure everyone's familiar with Elijah Craig and Toasted as well. But we've never had this. Yet. No, I, and I like I said, if you have a don't like this, you can comment. But one reason I'm not a fan of Elijah Craig, <laughs> it's Heaven Hill does this with their corks, dude. It's not just this brand. The corks are like, hard to grab. Like Basil Hayden has some of the worst corks to like oh, pop out. Terrible. But uh, I don't really like Elijah Craig. I love their 18 year. Their 18 is good. I have their barrel proof. Not bad. Well, and I've already gone on camera and said yeah, why I don't favorite. like barrel proof. But this one generally goes from, what, 65 to to $100. So you see it. It's a very broad price range. But yeah. this MSRP in New Jersey doesn't really apply to this brand. It's kind of no. whatever you want to charge for it, you can kind of get away I with. mean, I'll be honest. I did not get a special deal with this. What I bought this at was what the account was selling it. And I got it for $53.99. I just poured way too much. $53.99 is a cut. solid Say hello. steal. Hello. Okay. <laughs> He's not happy. That's kind of why I couldn't pass this up when I saw it. And there was only four available. So. Oh, this nose is fun, dude. Is this it? is, it's like toffee. I was told it's like a campfire by the retailer. All right. so. so the nose smells like toffee, a little bit of marshmallow. Yep. And then you get that, like, char. Yeah. Like heavy char. Yeah, you hit it right on. Toffee. A little sweetness from like a marshmallow type. Whatever gelatinous Scent. treat you like. Yeah, no. I hate marshmallows. Okay. Let's get it. I'm going in. Let's hit it. Mm. Hmm. I don't know. I'm not saying this is not restoring my faith in Elijah Craig, but. No, it, it's. I like this. I figured you would. <laughs> I mean, listen, it's no Penelope Toasted. That still holds the toasted crown. It's However, second this high. is... It's creamy, though. This is right? close. Is it creamy texture? It's got a, it's got a creamy mouthfeel, which little, I appreciate. A little smoky. little smoky. Not mm -hmm. a lot. A little tinge of smoke. Um, oh, more on the lines of, like, you would smell from, like, a really good barbecue sauce. Yes. Like, like a mesquite. Like mesquite. I, I like this. I, I don't know, dude. I'm like so like conflicted about this one. Like, I'm trying to put my biases aside on this. I, I, I am like too. It. I am too. I'm trying to like black. Out. I'm trying to like. I wanted to hate this one. I really wanted to hate this. I know because you don't like. Elijah I wanted to be Craig. like. I'm like, this is horrible. Like, it's why would not. you do this? Like, why would you pay that? Like, you know. It's not. At but all. it's not. It's good. It's but like, is it great? No. Is it good? Yes. I don't. Oh, it's twice barreled too. I yeah. didn't know that. I think they finish it in like uh, like new American oak, and then they finish it in a toasted barrel. It's not all the way through. Yeah, fully matured Elijah Craig small finished in toasted new oak barrels, yeah. left to develop more complex sweet oak flavors. I really like it. I'm I'm up there with this one again. I, what's what's selling it for me is the nose is really nice. Nose is super pleasant, and it's smoky in flavor but it's got this creamy texture so it's like I this love the texture. it's the like this feel is it's like this hurt. sweet and savory thing going on so you, I, you're gonna be surprised at this and this is the highest i'm ever gonna rate an elijah craig product ever on this channel really i'm going 8.9 wow i think it's very good i'm because wow. i know I, I know i just said before like it's not good it's not it's not great it's not good but then i had another sip and it was a really, like, I'm really, like, digging it. Lock that bitch in for an 8-9. I'm meeting you in that one, because I really... I just said what 8-9 to nine, what eight to nine means, so, like, it's I'm not loving, a 9. I'm loving that, 8-9, for I think, sure. I think they did, and, like, there's a lot of haters on this one, too. Uh, but from a self... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Self-proclaimed uh, 
Elijah Craig Hader, which I yeah. am. Uh, this is good. This it's is good. Fantastic. It's very good. It's fantastic. And especially like what, with what you paid, that, that's where it should be. 53 bucks. Yeah. yeah. That's where you should be at with that. Um, and I've seen this. I was just in Napa, California, and they sell this for $99 out there. Yeah. And we're like not equidistant from like Kentucky no. to California, Kentucky to New Jersey, but shipping rates are probably yeah, really not, close. not that different. All right. The next one is going to be fun. We've had solid ones up to this point so this far. Has been, this has been great. Uh, this is so, an awesome review. The next one is Bardstown. I have been dying to get a- anything from Bardstown. So mm-hmm. if you don't know and you're watching this and you live in New Jersey, you, Bardstown doesn't distribute to New Jersey. No. And there are no distributors that are planning on picking up Bardstown, Mm-mm. from what I know. If you know something I don't know, please comment. Uh, so this is, uh, I don't know if it's brand new, but it's one of the new expressions. You might, if you do know Bardstown, you'll know their Fusion series. Uh, they have like their double, uh, I think their double cast finish rise. They, they mm-hmm. do some funky stuff. It's very cool. Yeah. Cool. Uh, this is their Bottle and Bond Origin series. Okay. So this is roughly $50. I, I bought it for 50 bucks. Uh, and when I went online, you can see these from 50 to 75 And again, I don't, as a retailer, I don't have any perspective on pricing, wholesale, any of this, because I don't have any sell sheets on it. No. So this is like, I bought this because I think it's cool. Yeah, no, so, definitely. And I bought this in Napa, California at, and I know it now it's called Gary's, but if there's any wine enthusiasts that watch us, I bought this at Dean and DeLuca's, or what is formerly Dean and DeLuca's, which is an institution of wine shoppery. I don't okay. know. I don't know. I don't know a better <laughs> word for it. Or it, it, it's just, it's a legendary shop in, in Napa to get your trinkets, your wine, cool. whiskey, spirits everything they have a boutique it's a boutique shop but they also sell food they have amazing coffee they have amazing awesome pastries they have a deli like it's the it's awesome if you're in napa you gotta go to gotta go to gary's (laughs) uh but all right after saying that let's get into this i'm in yeah i didn't think that's all right i'm impressed you didn't crack this before tonight i couldn't dude you you have no i bought this like two days into my trip and i didn't i didn't crack it so like i was there a whole week last week and i didn't fucking crack it because I knew we had to do it for okay, well, it doesn't pour the YouTube channel. And I will do, I'll, I'll do a TikTok review on it as a quick one for some people, but I don't know anything about this. Zero. It's got a good nose. It's perfumey. Very perfumey. It's floral and per- It's so like, it's the opposite of the logic. Very color. opposite. I mean, this is like its own Light, thing. Light, perfumey, a, like, little, a little oat. Like, all of these are over here. And this guy's its own little thing. And this is going to blow your I'm fucking I'm assuming off, this dude. is going to be in line with these. I love this nose, dude. It's vegetative. It's perfumey. It's floral. It's six years aged. It's got 68% corn, 20% so, wheat, and 12% malted barley. For anybody watching, one of my favorite bourbons of all time is Old Forester's Single Barrel, but they're 90 proof. They don't make anymore. And their 90 proofs literally smell like this. It's like perfumey and floral and light and fun. Mm-hmm. Hmm. That's odd. I'm going to say something. That's odd. Why is that? And like... Tell me if you get this. Lemon pepper. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, have you ever had lemon pepper lemon chicken? Lemon pepper. Like lemon pepper chicken? It's really good, but it's cream. It's the te- There's so much texture on it, though. I it get coats heavy, my mouth. Heavy citrus and pepper. Lemon pepper. Yeah. Wow. And a little bit of, I get a little bit of like black tea on the end palate. A little bit, but this is like a very botanical bourbon. This is highly botanical. Yeah, this is almost like a... But this like is a, fun. It's almost like, like a gin. This, like, uh, I, I use it's this like word... like a gin bourbon. I use this word when I, I talk about some wine to customers, like uh, playful. This mm-hmm. is a very playful bourbon. Uh, it, it's fun on the palate. It's got a cool texture. It's got a little zing to it too. So Lemon you, pepper. That's good, dude. You know what? I would categorize this as one of my summertime sippers. It's a light, light palate, easy drinking. I'm sorry to tease you guys with a bourbon you can't get, but if you see bars down outside of Jersey, you gotta grab whatever it is. Just buy it. Yeah. Um, Not it, to be confused with old. Oh, old black tea, Bardstown, black tea right? back end, black tea. Yeah, that's what I'm saying on the end, black back tea. But and this isn't to be confused with old. A little Bardstown, bit of a late right? kick, but that's not a bad thing. Um, what's up? It's not to be confused no, 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 with Old no, no, no. Bardstown. Totally, totally, totally different. Totally so, different. Totally so different. don't go see Old Bardstown yeah. on the shelf and be like, yeah. oh shit, that's what Dan and Mike said to get. No, no don't do that. That's under the will uh, name. That's different. I like this a lot. It's cool. I don't know if it's as good as the Elijah Toasted to me. No. But, uh, 
All right, you, since I, I gave the score first on this one, okay. you brought it, you give your score first, and we'll see what we get. I'm going to bring this guy down to an 8-2. Yeah, that's right. Yeah? Yeah, that's right. I think so, too. Yeah, I yeah. Mean, like, like I said, it's a very light... It's going to be weird for some people, though, because it's, it's, so, it's so floral and botanical that it's like... I don't know how many people are going to find this palette no. fitting just, them. Just like the Garrison Bros Honeydew, I, yeah. I put this into my summertime sipper category. Yeah. But the thing is, with that category, as Dan knows, like, I really lay off the bourbon in the summertime. Like, I'm much more into tequilas, vodka You don't drinks, really just drink, like, for the show. Like, yeah, I'm really not big into or you bourbon do, you on the Or you do Japanese months. whiskey a lot, though. Or I will do some of the... Yeah, because they're kind of light, too. All right. Um, but no, it's good. 8-2. 8-2. Two. Two. Mm -hmm. All right, so, last one. We are going to thank Grismondo Barbecue, a.k.a. our buddy Tim, who was yep. on the show before for our... Whiskey of the Year episode, yes, I believe, and uh, so he uh, he did not have to do this. He donated a bottle to the channel. Mm -hmm. uh, this is a store pick from somewhere out in PA, so I can say this. Uh, specially selected by Fine Wine and Good Spirits, it's their 60th edition. I guess so it's their 60th barrel pick of this. Yeah, uh, 20 percent rye mash bill, rich fruit edition, October 2022. Uh, and for all the Four Roses nuts out there, which I'm just kind of learning about Four Roses and like mm -hmm. the barrel codes and stuff like that. So for everybody watching, uh, Four Roses recipe selected. And this is a very important part because it, it'll tell you what the, each letter represents a different barrel. Okay. Selected to blend into this. It's a single barrel, but it's different single barrels blended together. Yeah. So technically that's a vat. And it's barrel strength. Single technically barrel. That's, a vat, even... that's a vatted single barrel. Yeah. So barrel code is O-E-S-O -E and it's nine years old. Nine years and seven months old. Interesting. All right. With that, it's a lot to say, so let's just drink. All right. So, Mike and I have poured our glasses. Yep. I've had this. I know what I'm probably going to say. Okay. And I, I've had three other barrel picks from New Jersey and one from and one other one from PA. Yep. And these, as far as barrel picks go or store picks or whatever you want to say, are probably the best on the market. I'm going to try to... Remain as neutral as I can because my company actually does distribute Four Roses. Yeah. However, I have not had the I single barrel it. barrel select. And in all being completely genuine, I really do like Four Roses products. I know. I do like Four too. Roses make solid products. And like there, uh, so the small batch select and the regular single barrel are two of my favorite bourbons in the world. Yeah. They're, so, Four Roses kills it. And they're regular bourbon like it's oh great yeah it's, if it's you great. just need an inexpensive or, bourbon we did it we did it for our beginners episode yeah. regular small batch like anything four roses really makes it fits it's it fits the palate all right so the nose oh god yes what am i getting on the dude, nose dude it is what it is is what i what i interpret as it's it's burnt cherry cola yeah a little bit of brown sugar and heavy char like heavy 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 char yeah you, yeah the uh, burnt cherry cola is what I, what, yeah. I, what I really get. But the nose is awesome. And there's the oak. A little I think this is my favorite. Uh, the, this is probably my favorite nose out of all of them. This is number two. Ooh. Ooh. It's a little spicy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But it's creamy. Texture. Good texture. A little spice up front. and then it, But it's spicy up front, but dude, then it like completely chills the yeah. rest of the way in this one's hitting me hard yeah oh i got more i gotta go in for a second i don't know why this is like my first really... my first glass was rough with this one you gotta you gotta ease into it you gotta I, ease tell, into this I could one. tell i can you gotta tell. ease into this one a little bit it is big so it's it's 58.3 percent alcohol so, so that's 116 proof. 116 proof uh and then the if everyone if anybody wants to know the warehouse it's he the barrel number is 43-3v Give it a minute. Just coat your mouth and then go back to it. Because the whole thing is, it's it's hot, so it, it, the first sip, for me, was intense. The but second we, sip is totally different. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Once your mouth gets coated and it kind of numbs it up a little bit, then you start to really, like, dissect it, and it's, yeah. it's awesome. Wow. This is an exciting one. It's all over the place. But it's like fireworks. It really is, because I can feel it, like, it's yeah. like Pop Rocks. It's, yeah. like, popping all over my but it's mouth. Like, like, it's, it's brown sugar. It's maple. It's that what? little cola note. It's... It's kind of everything you want in like a really flavorful bourbon. Yeah. And you've got and for everyone all the all the like the the, the proof horrors out there like it's like it satisfies the proof horrors. Yep. Like 
Wow, it's giving me a, a Kentucky hug. It's going oh, yeah. down, yeah. I dude, it's I going I down. fucking I fucking love this bottle. Sorry, whiskey cats trying to interrupt the show. If it doesn't hit the camera, fire. <laughs> nice. Oh. Wow, that that goes down. I don't know how I'm gonna rate this one, dude. To me, I I need more. Yeah, you need a. a, a I, I need. I'm a just saying, you need a second glass. So my first time having this, I had one first glass, and I'm gonna admit, was like, eh, okay. That's where I'm at right now. Yeah. Like, yeah. Second glass, I was like, oh fuck, okay, this is good, this is good. Third glass, I was like in love. So I'm not saying I have three glasses of this right now, but. I, and I knew, I know Mike's. So I knew this one was gonna be the mind fuck of the night for him. Yeah, this is really. This was the one that was gonna give him the most problems. It was gonna be mm -hmm. the hardest one for him to read. It, it really is. It's like, and I really didn't hype this up to you before we got on camera. No, you so. didn't. You didn't. We actually didn't talk anything yeah, about any of these. You didn't tell me about camera. fucking Elijah to toasted either. So. No, I want to surprise you with yeah. that. Yeah. All right. I'm gonna. All right. It's just the texture on this for me is so good. This it's rating so might be subject to change if we ever revisit it on another episode. But for now, as it stands, I, I just can't have multiple glasses. I gotta drive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, as it stands, I'm going with an 8.3. That's solid. And like for me, yeah, you know what? It's tough because I I really like this one. I like and, it. And I've, I've dipped into it a lot though. I do like it, but... This is a bourbon where I'm gonna. I need to be in the mood. This for is it. your winter bourbon, though. This is like yes. hardcore winter bourbon. I it needs to be a very. I need to be in a mood for it. Whereas like this and this, I can grab and, and this too. To I think and, oh yeah, yeah, that, yeah that too. Well, the only reason I'm not including this is because yeah. we can't get it. Here. So all right, this is, this is where I'm at with it. I I've analyzed this a lot because I I had a chance to drink this before off camera mm -hmm. multiple times over the last month. I've had the bottle. And we, I'm just waiting for the right time to break it out. And this yeah. seemed like a fitting night to do it. So, I, I'm going to go high. Okay. And to me, this was a 9-3. Okay. So, so we're eight, 10 three, points nine, apart. Three. So, if you want to go 8-7, I think that's a good split. I'll take it. So, 8.7 out of 10 on the Four Roses cat, Single Barrel Cast Strength Store Pick. Yeah. And most of their store picks are actually very similar to this kind of. Yep. They vary in that there's a, there's a slight... Vanilla sweetness that varies between a couple different batches that I've had, but overall they're all kind of the same. To me. Yeah, no, I'll take it. Eight seven. Eight point seven. All right, so that wraps up the uh, you know the random whiskey roundup here. Yeah. If you guys stuck along, stuck around this long, thank you. First of all, this is going to be one of our little a little bit longer episode because this make sure I got everything right this just exploded with bottles. We did not. We, it was supposed it to be two. two. It was supposed to be and two. It turned into it was five. supposed to be two. It turned into five. Um. But again, Damn. like we say at the end of every episode, please like, comment, and subscribe to our channel. Especially like and comment. That interaction really helps us. It, you know, we, and we will interact with you guys. We will. We look at all the feedback. subscribers help too. Yes, they do. They do <laughs> help. But more importantly, the interactiveness is what really gets us on the map. So, awesome guys! Thank you so much. We hope you enjoyed. Cheers. Cheers.